What is up, Pyromaniacs? Prowlstasis here. We're back in the world of Beyond Reality. And uh, we've, we've made a little bit of progress since last time you guys saw. Uh, we are up to 2,100-ish buckets plus uh, the 32 that we've got in here. So that's almost 2,200, uh, considering those are both combined. Uh, I went ahead and made the speed upgrade here for this, which is just two gold ingots, three gold nuggets and uh, four blocks of redstone that does give you four. Put all four in here. Uh, this fills up pretty damn quick at this point. Uh, and this can hold 144 buckets. Pretty sure that's gonna be able to keep our boiler uh, rocking and rolling in, uh, in liquids that we need. Now, what we're gonna be wanting to switch over to now is we're gonna be wanting to move into our lava production. Uh, so we are gonna be wanting to make a lava fabricator which is this little device right here. We're gonna need some plastic for this. Uh, and then we need the factoring machine, which is gonna require some aluminum plates. Uh, and then this part's gonna be fairly tricky because we, we, we gotta do some stuff there. But before we do that, uh, we need to look at the thermolilies uh, because these are the plants that we're gonna be needing to produce the uh, mana that we're gonna be making from the lava. So to do this, we're gonna need a rune of fire. Uh, this is fairly easy. Uh, I believe we have some nether ward upstairs. Nether brick's pretty easy to get from our nether portal. Uh, and I can start a nether ward farm if we have soul sand, which I don't know if we do. Uh, either way, that's not too hard to get. Uh, however, this other one here, the rune of earth, this one's a little tricky because of the mushrooms. Now, we don't really have any mushroom biomes nearby that I'm aware of. Uh, I did find one mushroom in our little inventory uh, up here, just one. Uh, and it seems like something's up with Greg Tech. Uh, I don't know if, if, if he's done it or if it's you know just working as intended, but uh, I tried to uh, farm, uh, let me see, was it over here? I'm trying to remember where it was. I, I don't know if it was here or not. No, it wasn't here, it was up a floor. Um, I built a dark room, 9 by 9 by 14-ish, and it wasn't, uh, it, it, the, the plant wouldn't grow, no matter how much uh, I, I bone mealed it. So I don't remember where the fuck we were. Maybe it was on the bottom floor. Uh, anyways, I was going to show you the 9 by 9 room, but you're just going to have to take my word for it that a 9 by 9 by 14 room in complete darkness uh, did not function. Um, so I don't know... I don't know if that's a Greg Tech issue or what, but you can grow mushrooms in darkness, but there's also an alternative there. We can grow uh, mushrooms on mycelium. And from what I understand, mycelium doesn't require, uh, it can grow in a light level. Unfortunately, mycelium only spawns naturally in a uh, biome, that, uh, in a mushroom biome, which again, uh, I know we have one, I just don't know where it is. Um, that's taint, not mushrooms, and my map's been reset a few times, so, because we, when we formatted, or when I bought the new computer, I lost all the database, so, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make a moistener. Now, moistener is a forestry machine. I haven't used forestry in, God, I don't know how long, but, uh, it's fairly easy to make, did I misspell moist? Moistener, there we go. Uh, this is fairly easy to make. We need four copper gears, we need four glass, and then we need a sturdy casing, which is just uh, eight bronze ingots. Now, bronze should be fairly easy to get now. We have a decent supply of copper and tin. Uh, we've got plenty of tin up there. I'm going to throw some copper. Uh, we need eight ingots, which is just two runs of this, which isn't bad. Uh, so that shouldn't take too terribly long. Uh, and then on top of that, we need the copper gears. Now, I do have some copper in here. Uh, the copper gears have a couple different recipes. That's the Greg Tech recipe, which we're not going to use. And this is the easier forestry recipe. Now, uh, we're going to be using... There's a couple different... Whoops. There's a couple different variants of this. We can use that stone gear from Buildcraft. We can use a stone gear from Greg Tech. Uh, I think we're going to use the one from Buildcraft. Nope, that's the wrong one. I'm trying to get the... Damn it, I keep misclicking. There it was. No, 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 no. Where is it? There it is. That's the one we want. So this one is just four cobble around four sticks. So that's the one we're going to make. Uh, as soon as this finishes up, we will go do that. I would leave this here, but okay. Wow, that was 12? Holy shit. What the? F 
What the hell just happened? For whatever reason, that doubled up. I've never seen it do that before. That's very odd. Um, that's very odd indeed. I mean, I'm not going to complain. I'm just I'm a little confused as to why it happened that way. Uh, oh, well. Who cares? So, uh, we've got 16 of these now. That's more than what we needed. Let's head upstairs. All right. So, first off, we're going to get some sticks because that's what we need right off the bat. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the coal in here. I can come grab that here in a little bit. We don't need it at the current time, and my inventory is currently... <laughs> it is ridiculously full. Um, where's my... Whoops. There it was. We'll put you up. There we go. I did go do a little bit of mining, clearing out that room, so we ended up picking up a few extra resources, which... Not something I wanted to do. Okay, so we need some sticks. Uh, I need four. Uh, four sets of these. So let's see, that's... Uh, one, two, three, four. Well, shit. That was probably the worst way to go about doing that, but that's fine. All right, that's going to give me five. If I take one off, that's going to give me four. Perfect. Okay, now we need some cobblestone, so we'll punch you once. That's going to give me that. Put you four here. Boom, 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 boom. Dude, it's so creepy sometimes seeing that uh, that cart roll by. Because, like, you just catch movement out of the corner of your eye, and you're like, wait, no one's on the server. What the fuck? Why am I seeing moving things? And you realize, oh, yeah, there's a cart there. I'm not crazy. Or maybe I am. Maybe I am. Uh, I just want to make sure I got the recipe right. I do, so we'll just do a couple more. That's going to give us the four that we need. Double check. Yep, copper gear. Okay, boom. So that's copper gears that we need, and then we need one bronze hull, which is that. Fairly easy. And the nice thing about this forestry machine is it doesn't require power. So it's not going to be one of those machines I'm going to have to babysit or deal with all that often. Okay. So now we need two things from upstairs. Uh, we'll go ahead and put this thing up so that I can get it. We'll put you in there. Perfect. All right, we're going to head upstairs. Now, the reason we're going upstairs, we, well, we may not have to go upstairs. Let me check this real quick. Uh, that's what we need. Uh, we need, there we go. Perfect. I think that's all we need. Uh, I believe, right? Damn it. Mycelium. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. That's all we need is just wheat and that. Now, we don't have a whole lot of wheat here. Um, second there, I thought that was mycelium. I was about to really be unhappy. Well, I mean, not unhappy. I mean, it would be nice to have it, but... At the same time, it's like, God dang it, I've been halfway through building this shit, and we had it right there the whole damn time. God. I just want to make sure we don't have any more up here. Uh, I know we've got some upstairs. We'll run upstairs real quick and grab it. The reason we're going upstairs and grabbing some more is I don't know how many of these are going to be required to make the uh, the process work. Because it could be finicky. It may, it may not work unless we have, like, you know, 30 or 40 of these processes go through uh, also i believe the light level on this is a little tricky you have to be you can't be in bright light i think it has to be in semi-darkness maybe not semi-darkness just in a lower light level i don't i don't know what the requirement is uh, let's let's head downstairs and hopefully it'll work next to our boiler because that's where our water setup is all right so let's slap it down right there uh it says no recipe all right, so we're going to put you here, and we're going to put you here, and you can see we are now moistening the wheat. Wow, that's kind of interesting. And then it's going to go up, and now we have moldy wheat. And apparently we're going to do this over and over again, because if we pull this up, you can see um that wheat produces moldy wheat which has a byproduct apparently of mycelium which you can see down here um and you can also use moldy wheat to get decaying wheat which will do the same thing so because we have the wheat right here it's going to keep processing and i'm assuming this is basically the general idea of this is it's a composter um if it's in the dark if it's if it's wet if it's you know it, it builds mold i mean any, anything that's that's wet and usually heat is a, is a nice benefit, at least not, not a whole lot of heat, just a little bit of heat. Uh, and you, you get that, uh, that yeasty, uh, moldy, 
composty type reaction and I'm talking completely out of my ass. I don't know anything about <laughs> composting or anything along those lines. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna let this run for a couple minutes uh, and see what happens. Uh, we're gonna get our mycelium. Once we get that, we're gonna start growing some mushrooms and we'll take a look at um, we'll take a look at the lava fabricator as well. All right, so as you can see, uh, the mycelium that we got from the moistener, I planted one piece of mycelium here, uh, and then kind of went AFK for about, I don't know, 45 minutes or so, and it has taken over pretty much the entire right side of the silo. I am hoping that that doesn't do anything horrible to the uh, poor innocent, well, there are no critters left, because I accidentally killed them all with, uh, somebody put chickens in my base, I think it was Lem. So I had to slash kill all the critters in the area. Um, so you can see our one mushroom has now duplicated into five mushrooms. Now, uh, like I said, it doesn't seem to matter on the light level. The problem that I'm running into is I can't make them um, grow into the big mushrooms, which is a disappointment because if I could, then we could easily duplicate them. So I'm gonna put uh, three empty spots in between them. That way they can duplicate one out and then one again. That should uh, allow us to have a decent spacing. Uh, okay, put him there. Yeah, three in between. One, two, three, one, two, three. All right, there we go. So with these uh, growing here on the mycelium, uh, here in, I don't know, another 45 minutes to an hour or so, we should end up with a decent number of these. Now, like I said, we do need these for the thermo lilies, which for some reason is showing up. Oh, we were looking at that. Uh, here we go. Thermal lilies, we need them for the earth runes right here. Now, thankfully, we have a way to get blocks of coal. That's not going to be a problem. Uh, stone, as long as it's not actually colored stone. I don't think it is. I think any stone will work. I'm hoping. Yeah, just stone. Uh, and then the, that's easy as well. So, okay. So while we're waiting on the, the mushrooms to do their thing and grow, let's go take a look at the uh, lava fabricator. I don't know why I'm heading upstairs. We want to head downstairs. There we go. And I'm going to do an inventory dump here in a second. We're getting a little crazy here on the old inventory. Uh, let's put these up. Let's sort the rest. Um, I'll just put some of the stuff up for now. I'm not going to need the bronze plates, I don't think, anytime soon. Uh, and I always put my railcraft stuff over here. There we go. Or at least most of it. All right. So, resorting the inventory. Let's go look at the lava fabricator. All right. So, to make the lava fabricator, we're going to need plastic sheets. We're going to need two pieces of obsidian, a blaze rod, two magma creams, and a factory machine block. Now, I believe I saw some magma creams up here somewhere, if I do recall. There's one, uh, and there's the other. Good, 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 good. All right, uh, now we need some obsidian, and we need the plastic. Now, if you guys remember, I don't know, maybe two, three episodes ago, we set up some rubber over here to cook, and we've got it right here. So with this rubber, I believe we can make those plastic sheets, or we may have to recook it. Let me look. These are plastic sheets we need. Uh, dear God. Yeah, it's not giving us. Surely to God, the recipe will work with plastic. Let me just look at plastic then. Because if, if I can't get it from here, because you can see all these... We can get plastic from here. Now the question is, can from plastic, can we get the rubber sheets that we need? I make a plastic bar. From plastic bars, can I get it? Oh, son of a bitch. Uh, I recall we made, we did make the, the mold, I believe. All right, let's look at it one more time. Uh, the issue that we're having is this mold. So you can see right there, fluid solidifier, unpackager, alloy smelter. So we need two plastic bars in here to make a plastic sheet. Uh, the question is, can we make plastic sheets any other way? Uh, I meant to do R on that. Uh, fluid solidifier, unpackager, alloy smelter. Yeah, we're gonna need plastic. Okay, and to get to that, once again, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to do a little creativity here. Guys, to get this, we need 
I think we need the actual plastic parts. Where is it? Good God, man. There it is. Yeah. So we got to re-smelt these while they're smelting. There we go. Now we need to get some coal in here. So I'm going to put... Uh, we're going to hold off putting that on there. Uh, we're going to run upstairs real quick and get some. We got some steam in there that'll hold up for now. Let's run up here real quick. Do we still have our bucket? How about I put my bucket up? I don't even know why I'm going for the bucket. We got plenty of water in there. Oh, wow. Full stacks of Creo at each one of these. Good God. Great giggly moogly. That is an epic shit ton of Creo. Oh, well, of creosote and Coke. Cool, cool. Gives you kind of an idea of how long we've been. I think I put these in for you guys, right? Uh, or I showed you guys that we put these in at the middle or beginning of last episode. Uh, and I've basically been playing straight. So I don't know how long it takes for a full stack of Creo to, or a cold Coke to turn into creosote and uh, cold Coke. But it's, it's not a short amount of time. It is quite a little bit. There we go. So we got 59. Uh, we can break that into 16, 16. Let's do one more stack. There we go. And then these I can use for the furnace down here. Perfect. Now this right here, uh, somebody did the math on it. Um, I thought it was 20 minutes per piece, but somebody did the math on it and, s oh God, they're out of water. Okay, this one's not, this one's out of water. How the fuck are you out of water? There it is. For reals. Okay, are you cold? That looks cold to me. Please don't blow up. Okay, not blowing up. All right, let's put the uh, cold coke back in. Damn it. There we go. That's five. Five cold cokes. Ought to keep that going for quite a while. Dear God, dude. I must have left this going for a lot longer than I, than I thought I did. I cannot wait till I can get the steam boiler going. Then I don't have to worry about these stupid little fuckers. All right, that one's full. All right, you're good. So what is going on with these guys? Neither of them are cooking. Oh, it's the ash. I guess they can't do cold coke? What the shit? Wow. So they can't do cold coke blocks. That is weird. I've never seen that before. Okay, that's fine. I'll put half in you. And half in you. And then we'll split this. There you go. There's 13. And there. That ought to produce enough. Okay, so where are we at? We've got 11 plastic pulp. Oh, shit. Okay, so plastic pulp I think we can use with the... Uh, where is it? Yeah. I'm pretty sure with the plastic pulp we can use that uh, with the mold, if I recall. That's a different one. Yep, there's an alloy smelter. Where is the plastic sheets? Right there. So we've got the plastic pulp we need. Outstanding. Let's run back up here and see if we can't find our mold. Now the mold's around here somewhere. We had it in the last episode. There he is. Yay. Yeah, you're not all saying yay. I don't hear you. Louder. Okay. So I put this up here. And whoops, wrong pile of crap. There we go. And boom. We don't need too many. There we go. Six will work. That's more than enough. Okay. So we've got our sheets. We've got our magmas. We've got... We don't have our blaze rod or our obsidian. That's a problem. I know I've got a blaze rod around here somewhere because I got it specifically for this, this uh, little setup. Uh, where is it? There it is. Okay. We only need one. And then we need some obsidian. Do I still have obsidian hidden around somewhere? Let me check downstairs. If not, uh, there's plenty of places we can go and get it in the wild. But we may we may have some down here. Yep. Wow, two obsidian. That's what we needed. Outstanding. All right, so we've got all of the parts that we need except for the factory machine itself. So we're going to need four steel rods. Uh, did I make these before? I know I started on some of this. I just don't know if I did it all. Okay, so to make a steel rod, we need a file and a steel ingot, obviously. So we need four of these. Thankfully, I do happen to have four of those. Pop that out. Got that. What else do we need? 
Now we need aluminum plates, which thankfully are also easy to get. I do believe we've got some aluminum around here somewhere. Some aluminum, aluminum. Well, I thought we did. Maybe we don't. Aluminum. Okay, we'll flip through here. None. Wow, one aluminum ore. That's gonna be an issue. So there's gotta be a way to make aluminum other than, wow, that is messed up. Are we really gonna get cock blocked by aluminum of all things? And it has to be aluminum. Yes, it has to be aluminum. Okay. Yeah, so fuck. Fluid solidifier, yep, molten red steel. Not quite sure what equals molten red steel, but we are still gonna need an aluminum ingot. So what drops aluminum? Is it only aluminum ore? Uh, don't need a plasma arc for furnace. So annealed copper. Good God, dude. Blast furnace, ruby dust equals aluminum nuggets and a tiny pile of dark ashes. Now my question is, will the furnaces that we have going back here work? I don't know. Now these are all just gonna be basic aluminum parts that are gonna turn into aluminum. And again, I'm only seeing one type of aluminum ore. And as you guys can see, you know, we've done a shit ton of mining and we've only seen that one little piece. So I guess we need to find out if ruby dust will do it for us. So uh, ruby, whoops, I guess it would help if I could spell ruby. All right, so we have one piece of ruby dust. I have another ruby up here that I can make a little bit more with. Um, I don't think it's going to be enough, but it'll at least let me, I think we've got more ruby ores. Oh yeah, we got plenty of ruby ores. So if this actually cooks and turns into a piece of, um, yeah, let's pull you out. Uh, let's pull you out. We're going to just throw you on the ground and we're going to put you in there. And I'm hoping this will cook because if it does, we're in business. If it doesn't, we are completely and utterly screwed. So looking at this, pressing you, um, I can make ruby plates, but again, no aluminium. An implosion compressor, nope, we don't need that. Son of a whore. Now it's kind of weird that uh, ruby dust, maybe it needs more than one ruby dust. Let's do it, let's look at it again. Aluminum. Uh, wow, there's a bunch of different types of aluminum. That's the only frustrating thing about this sometimes is there's so many different recipes to get some of the stuff that it can be kind of frustrating to find the exact one that you need and it doesn't always doesn't always cover the exact specific thing. So you can see right here a blast furnace will do it just probably not our blast furnace. We're going to need the uh, we're going to need the top tier blast furnace, the electrical blast furnace. So what that basically means is at this point I'm going to have to go and we'll put that back and let that start cooking again. Probably should do that with everything here. Did I get the steel out? Yep. Wow. Uh, and we'll throw the, the torches. Can be easily replaced. I need to throw this back up in here. All right. So basically, I need to find aluminum ore. Uh, apparently, that's one of the things that we have yet to locate, which is very odd with the amount of mining that we have done. So give me a couple minutes. Uh, I'm going to look through the ore table, see if I can figure out where we can get aluminum from. And once I get that figured out, we will head out and mine us some. All right, folks. So after mining my butthole off, I will take you to the mine shaft that I dug so you guys can get a, get a sense for it. Um, this was the third place I attempted. Uh, I did a lot of this mining here. There's a massive shaft down there somewhere. Um, the issue is aluminum in Greg Tech is a mid to late tier item. Uh, basically, the ways you can get it require you to use an electric blast furnace, which is the upgrade of my current blast furnace. If you guys remember, I tried to use the uh, the emerald, or not the emeralds, the rubies and such, in uh, the blast furnace down here, and it didn't work. Well, that's by design. Um, he wants you, basically, he doesn't want you to be able to easily use generators from nothing, and a lava fabricator, by definition, is generating lava from nothing not technically nothing. I mean, it is requiring power, but um, it allows you to basically set up a loop because I could then use a lava generator, which would then power it, which would then allow me to basically bypass all of that. Uh, 
apologize that these chunks aren't loading. Uh, so we have a couple options. One, uh, I just say screw it and give up on Batania pretty much completely, um, which really isn't that big a deal. I just really wanted to get this to uh, S rank, um, but without a you know a reliable way to produce lava, that's not gonna not gonna happen. Alternatively, I can make an Ender Pump. Now these pumps are actually fairly cheap. Uh, all things considered, uh, Greg Tech wise. Uh, I just need a diamond, I need uh, some obsidian and some ender pearls, uh, and then everything else is pretty pretty easy for the most part. I mean, I could, I could make this. Uh, then what we could do is we could use some drums right here, and I could fill up, I don't know, maybe six, seven, eight of these. Uh, that would give me enough buckets to then use a, oh, what's it called? It's from, it's not a drain. I forget what it's called. It's it's from BC. Floodgate. There we go. We can then use the floodgate right here to basically distribute the lava from the tank or the drums into the ender or into the thermal lilies. And that would give us an absolutely ridiculous amount of mana. I mean, if I were to set this up and do maybe 32 of them, I could probably get my S grade uh, pump or S grade pick in... I don't know, maybe a couple hours. Um, it wouldn't take long because those the amount of law or energy or mana that those things produce is ridiculous. The problem is I'm doing all of this to get this. And in all honesty, once I get to that point, I'm not gonna use it anymore. Uh, it won't be that much longer until we're making an ender quarry right here. And then I won't need it anymore. You know, at that point, it's just gonna be coming up with ways to produce energy that are efficient. Now, don't get me wrong, the setup that I've got here will allow me to basically make infinite coal and such along those lines, but uh, I just, I don't know if it's worth it. I don't know if it's worth it. I'm, I'm still on the, the debate end because there are other generators that I could use. Granted, uh, none of them, you know, I, I pretty much believe this is one of the, the better ones. I mean, getting another star is going to be very, very hard. Potions are a pain. Culinary is a pain. Heated redstone could work, but that requires me to make a shit ton of redstone. And redstone isn't something that you can just create. It's something that you've got to go mine for. Now, granted, we can find an epic amount of mines that run off of, or that have redstone in them. But again, I just don't think we're going to make enough to be able to reliably fuel enough of those. Uh, ender generator, same problem. We have to find a way to make ender generator, or ender pearls. And we've got the lava gener generator, which is probably the easier option. So our, our goals are basically either we can go carbon, we can go lava, or we can say fuck it and go completely different. Uh, we could go and look at some of the, um, what do you call them, the big reactors. I just don't know if we're going to be able to easily slide into those without too much difficulty. Uh, not only that, but uh, this mod pack, as far as I understand, has two distinct power modes. We have EU and we have RF, and they are drastically different. So sooner or later, I'm going to have to embrace EU and make the jump from the tier that I'm currently at, which is Steam, to the, the next tier, which is going to be uh, Electricity, uh, which is kind of odd considering I just spent all this time making this steam gener or steam boiler down here. Now with this boiler, I will be able to produce uh, RF fairly easily uh, because I'll be able to make, uh, where is it? I'll be able to make these guys right here. So ADRF right here, that's a fairly decent amount of, uh, of RF. I can get, um, I think I can get 21 of these on uh, a boiler. It's been a long time, but I, I know I can get at least 18. Maybe it was 18. I can get 18 of these. Uh, that's gonna be a shit ton of RF. That's almost 1600 RF, which I think will be plenty to run uh, the basics. Uh, and then I can always scale up my creosotes if I need to, which will give me the ability to make even more. Uh, alternatively, we could always switch back to solid fuels and then I can use the uh, coal coke. Uh, the problem then is I got to find a way to dispose of the amount of creosote that we will be generating. So there are there are some issues, you know, there's some different ways that, that I'm going to have to come up with to kind of figure out around this. But I think what I'll probably end up doing 
is we'll probably do a mixture of the two. Probably what we'll do, at least for the beginning, is we will make the endothermic pump, uh, which you can see, endotherm, well, let's just do pump. That's probably the easiest way. Probably are gonna go with the pump. We probably are gonna go with the drums. We're probably gonna go into the nether, suck a little bit of that dry, probably make, I don't know, as many of those drums as I can store, bring them back here, and then we'll use those to mass produce coal for a little while, get our thing up to S rank or SS rank just for shits and giggles, and kind of go on from there. Uh, I do apologize that we didn't really get anything accomplished this time. I did not realize aluminum was gonna be a cock block. I've never, been blocked by aluminum before. Um, so we're just gonna have to play around and see what we want to do. If you guys have any suggestions, feel free to shoot them up. But uh, unfortunately with the mods, that, the mods that are implemented and the way that they're implemented, our options are fairly limited. So I think, I, I may take a look at big reactors and see if that's gonna be a solution, but everything I've heard about big reactors is scary. I mean, they're awesome. They can produce a lot of stuff, but the maintenance issues that they have can be kind of tricky. So, uh, but I know very little about the mod. That's just what I've read and that could be completely wrong. So <laughs> as, uh, as, as everything else on the internet, if somebody says it, odds are it's at least a partial truth or it could be, it could be completely wrong. So we'll play around with it, see what we've got. Uh, but I think we're gonna go for short term, we're gonna go with the lava drums because producing lava until I can make electric electricity is gonna be very challenging, very challenging just because the sheer amount of grinding would be ridiculous. It would be absolutely ridiculous and it's just not worth it. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please slap that like button. Make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next clip.